What's it mean to you to get a scholarship contract at Raw? Yeah, it means everything, you know. Like my family, it means, to me, it means a lot. Like every footballer who's a kid, just like this is it, they dream of this. So to happen at the Raw just extra special and just really grateful to everyone who made it happen. Um, and can you talk us through the moment that you found out you were getting a contract? Yeah, so Ruben like pulled me in for a, mute, a few meetings. Like once I started training A League for a bit, and he said like the the contract's coming. Like just keep working hard, stay humble, keep your feet on the ground. And, like the rewards will come. So yeah, just after that, like I got the contract, and I was buzzing like over the moon, really happy. Yeah. And how you found training with the first team and being in that environment? Yeah, awesome environment. Like from the from the management to the coaches to the boys. Yeah, really good environment. Positive vibes on the field, and like since day one, everyone has made me feel welcome. So. Yeah, it's really grateful to everyone who made that happen. Yeah, really enjoying it so far. What are your aims and ambitions for the upcoming season? Yeah, definitely to make my professional debut. Honestly, for the Raw, that'd be like the best moment of my life. I've been dreaming of that for ages. So if that would happen this season, awesome. I just hope like, for the boys, we've worked really hard in pre-season. So just hoping like, as a team to get back into finals because that's where we belong. So yeah, looking forward to the season. Um, who were your biggest influences growing up that helped you get to this point? Yeah, definitely family, like especially my brother Diesel. You know, every every time he's home, we go to the fields, go for a kick, train together. That's definitely like a highlight for me, like always just training with him. You know, we've had the same goal since we were a kid, just to become professional. So we've both, we've, done, we've both done that now. So yeah, just definitely my brother. And I've had a good, like a fair few coaches along the way that have really helped me from like my time at Brisbane City to my time through the academy. Yeah, some really great coaches that have helped me through that. So you're just grateful to everyone involved. What type of player are you for people who don't know much about you? What are your best qualities on the pitch? Yeah, definitely like a ball playing centre back who likes to break lines, play out of the press, and just like a really good defensive, like blocking shots, just putting my body on the line for the team, really. Um, what are some of your early memories playing football? What junior clubs did you play for? Yeah, some early memories I had, like at Brisbane City, especially, but just some of those like multi game weekend, like tournaments over the weekend, like, like 10 games in two days, just awesome. Like, I love playing those, everyone does. But some more games are better, to be honest. Um, I played for Turinga Rovers in under, when I was like four years old, to be honest. My parents always say, like, I wasn't really there for the football, but more for like the sausages and like Freddos after. But then I moved to Toowong, and yeah, I was there for a few seasons. Then I made the switch to City, and I was there from under eights to under 12s, and that was a really good experience there. And then moved to Raw, Raw Academy in under 13s, and have been here ever since. Um, and then just finally, do you have any early memories of watching Brisbane Raw as a kid? Yeah, definitely a highlight was that 2014 Grand Final. You know, I went to the sound call with my parents and my brother. I just will never forget that. And I remember like going to all those signing days, especially the one at New Farm Park. You know, mum always shows me this photo of my brother and Brucha and Broich just together. So I always remember that day. Lucas is a, um, he's such an exciting talent. Uh, he's, his demeanour and his calmness, um, he's a very intelligent kid. Um, very articulate, comes from a, from a lovely family. Um, his older brother's obviously gone over overseas and is on his own journey. And, um, you know, since I've come to the club, I think I, I was at a, at a youth team game four minutes into the game against um, Brisbane City. And I kind of chuckled and laughed and was like, who's this kid? Um, just playing first time around corner, um, playing into pockets, breaking lines, um, just having that awareness and the ability to see things probably that's beyond his years. Um, he's just got such a high ceiling and when you have a player um, that has that much talent um, but also such a great attitude and such a humble demeanour, um, yeah, it's just a really good recipe for, for someone like myself to then try and shape him and, and develop him as a person and a player.